Hey guys, Chris one Theo here, bringing you another part of Let's Learn Hearthstone. So it's actually been a while since I recorded Hearthstone. Well, that's technically untrue. I did record an arena part with the new TGT cards and the new Legend of Explorer cards, but I did not record any audio for some reason. There was no game audio, no voice audio, so I decided to just scrap it. It was a Paladin run, so we had already a Paladin run. It wasn't even the best deck. I would went... 4-3 if I'm not mistaken. It was, it was actually kind of sad that I, that I couldn't, that I didn't record any sound because it had some of my, probably some of my best commentary and the games weren't actually bad. There was actually some hilarious moments in them but unfortunately you won't be able to see them because I scrapped them. But yeah, it sucks to suck I guess for me but I really need to pay more attention. So let's go ahead and start a new arena run. There was, as I said before, the door since the last part, there were the new TGT cards. I have played around a lot with the TGT cards, not a lot, I know. So what's, I basically know what's good, what's not good, and what basically not to pick. And with the Legend of Explorers, I haven't played, like, at all. The last arena run I had, with, where I recorded, was the was one, and I think I only had two. One was the Jeweled Scarab, two cards that are, were from the Legend of Explorers. The Jeweled Scarab and the other was, like, the Anis... An, 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 blah, 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 blah. The, the, basically, the five mana, four, four... With a death rattle that gives a friendly, a random friendly minion three, three plus three, three. What's it? What's it? A new bat, the a, a new bat sentinel, something like along those lines. I don't know, but yeah, I'm super excited because we have mage, Magic will prevail. mage, I mage ever like for these runs, which is sucks because I love mage. Mage is probably one of the easiest uh, classes to play, but I love mage. I the only it's the only class also that I got. Uh, 12 wins on, so I, I kind of have a soft spot for mage, and I always love mage in any game, so we're gonna go with mage. Uh, shaman or druid are good, but it's, it's mage, man. It's mage. Look at Joe's Jaina, Jaina, uh, balls of power. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Oh, actually, not a bad section of cards. So, Twilight Drake is not bad. Angry Chicken is sucks. Uh, I mean, it's the only really good if you have Druids. If you're a Druid and you have buff cards, or maybe a Priest, or maybe a Paladin. But it's probably the best on Druid. It says a Beast, actually. I did not... I, I didn't know that. So maybe it's good on Hunter. I don't know, man. But Sludge Belcher is so good. 3-5 for 5, a Taunt, and summon another 1-2 with Taunt. It's really good. It's a sticky minion that's annoying. It usually um, warrants a po uh, Polymorph from Mages. Like, it usually requires a spell or two to kill. So it's really good. It's really good value. These, however, are not my favorite. Delran Mage is 1-4 for four, 3. I mean, 1-4 is so bad. Spell damage is okay with Mage, but I don't have any spells yet since I'm only what, two, second back in. Shieldbearer, 0-4-1. Oh, I mean, why would you pick this? And Darkscale Healer is not bad, so we're gonna go with it. So, Flame Lance. It's a new card. I mean, new TCT card. It does 8 damage to a minion, so basically it kills a minion outright. I think it kills basically any minion. Well, besides, like, those really... Like, I think... No, it kills... It kills probably like 80, 80 to 90 percent of minions that aren't legendary. Probably there are more legendaries with 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 things and pro and like the giants. The dead doesn't kill the giants. So, but we're gonna go with it. I think it's removal, which is really strong. Spectral Knights is also really strong. Raging Worgen is fine, especially with mage since you can ping them. But I'm gonna go with Flame Lance. Jewel Scarab, yes, I want you. Micro Machine is fine. No very infantry, I don't like. But Jewel Scarab is so good. You discover a three-cost card. It can be a minion, or it can be like a class-specific card, like like a spell. Like what's a three-cost spell? I think Frostbolt. Yeah, I, I think you can discover a Frostbolt with this, which is extremely strong. I had this on my last run with Paladin, and I discovered like a Cog Hammer and Master for Battle with it. It was so good. I like it. I liked it a lot. Two Spider, also kind of u useful. I'm gonna go with it. It's basically like Silver Moon Guardian, but with a dis what did I discover? And it's a beast. Again, with the Raging Worgen. What is the, like, the third Raging Worgen so far? I don't want to Raging Worgen. I'm gonna go with Two Spider. It's a new card, and I wanted to mess around with it. So, Lost Tall Strider is fine. It's 5 4 4 4. It's not bad. Mono Worm is cool. If you have spells. And so it's a one drop, so it's not bad. I only have one spell, and it probably won't synergize with it. I go with Gilblin. It's a true three for two. Uh, we need twos since we only have a jewel scarab, and it has stealth. So it could probably two trade at least two for one, or does it? Or uh, does damage to the face? I really like it. I like these two three stealth guys. Oh, no more fives, I guess. Leper gnome is fine. I don't not a fan. Spiteful spin is fine. It's really good on rogue. Uh, four six for five. And you enrage your weapon. We don't have any weapons. It's not bad. I, I do pick this on mage if the other picks suck. But pit fighter is way better. It's basically the same thing, just one more attack. So why would I go pit fighter here? 
Oh, okay, so slow track RT is spell damage, have no spells that are small. 2 2 4 2, we had like really small spells, like if we had like 2 missiles, like 3 frost bolts or stuff like that. This is not bad. Ship's cannon is fine, it's a vanilla 2 3, which is like an upside we have pirates. Slow track is broken, it's really good. It's a 2 3 4 2, it's a mech, and it freezes characters. So this really shits on, on rogues. So it's gonna go with it. Delaran Aspirates is a new TGT card. It's a 3-5 for 4 and Inspire. Basically, Inspire, as you're seeing right there, if you do Hero Power, it does something to this minion. And it, which means this gains spell damage plus 1. So you could, if you keep pinging, it will get like 1 spell damage and 2 spell damage. Uh, I actually had a Flame Strike Blizzard, which means I had a 4 damage Flame Strike from this. 4 damage Blizzard, which was really cool. But I'm gonna go to Abusive Sergeant. Young Dragon Hawk is shitty. It's 1-1 one, one for 1, it's a Wood Fury. No. Uh, Abusive Sergeant is amazing. It allows you to trade up with your shitty minions, like <clears throat> Jewel Scarab and like Tomb Spider. I guess it's kind of shitty, but you know, it's a 3 3 for 4, not bad. So we're gonna go with it. It's a really good minion. Especially, and it's a 1 drop. I, wouldn't, I don't mind putting this on like round turn 1. Uh, Master Swordsmith, I'm not even gonna, gonna look at. It's a 1 3 for 2. It gives random friendly minion plus 1 attack. So it's pretty like shitty raid leader. I mean, Raid Leader is better than this. I mean, it's a 3-2-2 Raid Leader. Uh, it's better. I don't like it at all. Soot Spewer is amazing. It's really good. It's a 3-3-4-3. Three, three, three. It's a mech and it has plus 1 spell damage. It's basically like a vanilla 3-3. Three, three. I'm gonna go with probably a uh, Violet Teacher here. I do need 3s. But, I don't know, Violet Teacher is so good though, and we're only at 10, this is the 10th pick, so I'm gonna go to the Violet Teacher. It's a 3-5, whenever you cast a spell, summon a 1-1 one, one Violet Apprentice. I would like to get more spells so, to synergize with this, but I'm gonna go with Violet Teacher, it's a really good minion. So, Cone of Cold is like, freeze a minion and deals the, deal and the minions next to it and deal 1 damage to them. It's actually not bad, it can be played around, like if you have something with... That like can't be targeted by spells like Fey Dragon, and you put it in, in the middle of two other minions, then the, I have to pick between freezing the left one and the Fey Dragon or the right one, and the Fey Dragon. I can't freeze all three. It's not bad. Lord of the Arena is actually not bad either. It's a taunt and it's a six-five. No Mission Inventor is not bad either. I think I'm just gonna go to Lord of the Arena. It's a it's a it's a six-five for six. I'm just gonna go with it. People, it, it, those picks were the were debatable, but I'm gonna go with it. Fell Reaver is actually not bad. Uh, I don't like it. I don't play with it, so I probably won't use it w well. But if you can use this card like really well, you'll probably win games with it. It can win you games. It's that good. Well, it basically, whenever your opponent plays a card, remove the top three cards of your deck. So you play this, and when an your opponent plays a card, it, your next three cards will get discarded. So, which means you can't use them, and they can mill you with this if you play it at the wrong time, you can basically die from it. But it's it's a really good card. Ice Lock is not bad, I don't like it much, I mean, it's... You, you, you're you immune from taking fatal damage, I don't not use it much. Power Blast is okay, I don't value it too highly, I mean it's 10, it's basically like a finisher. It, you have 10 mana, deal 10 damage, and if you're ba they're at 10 damage, well you're gonna kill them, if they're not, well this is basically a useless card. But I'm gonna go with it anyway. I don't like Fairy Fur, I don't like Ice Block. I'm gonna go with Pirate Blast. It's the lesser of the three poisons, in my opinion. Venture Commissionary is another card I really, really don't like. It's a 7 6 for 5, which is amazing. But then the, your minions cost three more, so it's like. clogged your hand up. I really don't like it. Dragon's Breath is another card I don't l fancy much. Micro Micro Machine is fine. I guess I'll, I'll play around the Dragon's Breath. I really, I already have three, uh, four, fives, which I don't like, but I'm gonna mess around with Dragon's Breath. What better time like the present, right? Lost Toll Strider, basically. Magma Rager, shit. Oasis Snap does not bad. Lost Toll Strider, sure, why not? Oh, now I wish I had taken my... Uh, the Soot Suit Spewer, because I'm gonna pick this anyway, but Nerubian Egg is okay, it's a 0242, summon a 4 4 Nerubian when it dies. So it's well with uh, your Abusive Sergeant, my Abusive Sergeant, but not much else. You can ping it, but it's such a waste of your turn, so not not bad. If you have like Bombers, if you have Abusive Sergeants, Dark Eye and Dwarfs, this is fine. It's also a really good like safe tactic against Flame Strike, you play this. On like a board where a mage would want to flame strike, and it's really good to save it because it flame strikes and you have a four-four Nerubian at least. Colossal Manager don't like Inspire and return this minion to your hand, so you basically can't ping unless you want this back in your hand, which you don't really want. Goblin Blast Mage, if you have a mech, you deal four damage to random split, uh, randomly split all en among all enemies. So if you have like a Snow Chugger, this deals four damage to the enemies. It's randomized, so it could go face 
or it could kill a minion. It's like Bomber, but does four damage. I'm gonna go with it. I like it. It's a five four four four, so it's not bad. It's like it's like Toll Strider, but with a really good upside. Duplicate is another card I don't like using because um, unless you have really good minions, which I do kind of have good minions. Youthful Brew is okay. I don't have anything I'd like to brew back. I actually don't have like besides Abuse Sergeant. Or maybe a Jude Scarab. I don't really have anything of Battle Cry. Le Tomb Spider is also good. But I don't know. I wouldn't want to brew back anything. It's uh, probably played as like a two drop. Magma Ranger again is shit. I'm gonna play around the duplicate. This is gonna be, I guess, the, the deck where I play around with stuff. Dragon's Breath, pa Power Blast, I don't usually pick, and duplicate. Basically, when a friendly minion dies, put two copies of it in your hand. So we have like a, I don't know, like a Sludge Belcher. This is really good. Sludge Belcher plus this is amazing. Pit Fighter is not bad to play it again. But, I don't know. We'll go and go with it. I'll play it. It's a secret, so people have to play around it. Oh, no! These are all really, really good. There's only gonna be a Dark Iron Dwarf here. So, Argent Horse horse Rider is amazing. Charge, deal, Divine Shield, 2-1 and 4-3. Basically, it's like removal. It's free removal. It's, we'll probably trade at least 2-4-3. I mean, 2-4-1, unless it's a Mage, Druid, or Rogue. But... It's, you'll probably kill something with it, and then it will die, or kill something with it, then kill something else with it. It's not bad, it's it's actually really good. People thought it was shit when it came out, but it's actually really good. Darewolf Alpha is not bad, we have a lot of shitters, which I kind of don't. I mean, this will create the shitters, this will create... This is a shitter itself. But Dark Iron Dwarf is just so good, it allows you to trade upwards. And it's a 4 4 4, four and it's like Abuser Sergeant, but cooler. So we're gonna go with it. Flame Strike, you don't pass. Sucks that I lost my North Sea Kraken, but Flame Strike is so good. Four damage to all min enemy minions. It is played around, but people, you're forced, you're basically forcing people to play around it, but it's so good. Throw more Farseer, not a fan. I actually need more threes. I don't have a three at all. Well, I kind of have a three with this, but it will probably spawn. It can spawn a spell. I'm not a fan of two six minions, like Frigid Snowball that I can't get behind. It's a spell damage, which I do have quite a bit of spells, so this is actually not bad. I do have Pyroblast, Flame Strike, Flame Lance, and Dragon's Breath. But like, but like, I don't like it. I'm gonna go with Evil Heckler. It's 5-4 for 4. I really need to stop taking 4 drops, but Evil Heckler, I like it. Flame Waker is so good if you have spells. I Unfortunately, I don't have really low spells, but it's still so good. Agent Watcher is shitty. I mean, unless you have a Taunter, like, unless you have, like, some Fear Protector or Silences, this is gonna basically gonna be a dead card in your hand. I don't like it. I don't think I have any ways to proc it, so no. Arcane Alfire is not bad, but I do have too many 4s. And Flame Worker is just really good. After you cast a spell, deal 2 damage to random randomly split among en all enemies. It's actually a really good card. Now I feel sad that I didn't take the Argent Horse Rider. I think I'm gonna take a War Golem here. Not, I don't want more 4s. I already have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 4s. So I really need more 4s. Not particularly. Well, it could compensate. No, I need more 2s, 3s, and late game. So I'm gonna go to War Golem. It's a vanilla 7 7. It's kind of slow, but I, I don't like it. Not, that's not bad. Reckless Rocketeer is like basically a, a removal. It's like a 6 mana fireball that does one more damage. I, not a fan. War Golem it is. Haunted Creeper or Snow Chugger? Oh god. Or Explosive Sheep. I, Explosive Sheep is actually not bad. Deal, deal 2 damage to all minions. So, if the unmade is really good because you can ping it. Like, you play it and you ping it and, do, and it's like uh, AoE. But Haunted Creeper is so good. So is Snow Chugger. And I think it's, I mean, it's going to have to be a Snow Chugger because of Goblin Blast Mage. Or do I want Haunted Creeper? I'm going to go with Haunted Creeper. Haunted Creeper is just so good. It's a sticky minion. I'm going to go with it. Haunted Creeper it is. Oh crap! Another four, another four, I guess. Oh god, I don't want another four. But I'm gonna take it. My hand is gonna be so clogged. No, I don't like this at all. Mad scientist it could give me my duplicate, which is amazing. No, it's not. Means your harpy is not good. I'm gonna go with Yeti. I need twos. Stop giving. Uh, okay, Boulder Fist is ba not bad. Flame Lance already have one, don't want another. Frigid Snowball already talked about. Boop, sorry about that. And Boulder Fist is fine. I, I only have one six drop, that's not bad. Uh, counter Spell is not bad. It's a secret when your opponent plays a, a, a spell counter it, so basically it nulls a spell effect. Which is actually really good. 
Fallen Heroes, what are we going to pick here? Wild Pyro is really good if, you, again, you have small spells, which I don't. I wear my Fire bl f Frost Bolts and Arcane Missiles, I would love to have them. But Fallen Heroes is, your Hero Bower deals 1 extra damage, so now your ping goes from 1 to 2 with this. It basically needs to be dealt with, or you are going to be killing some shit for free. Silverhand Knight, uh, I only, I have one, two, three fives, uh, then I have removal, I really hate to have way too many fours to justify this, Silverhand Knight it is. Zombie Chow, Stone Skin, Stone Skin, blah, blah, blah. Stone Skin Gargoyle is bad, Tournament Medic is bad, Zombie Chow. Unstable Portal, it's one of those haha fuck you cards if, if you get a really good card. Arcane Golem is not bad, the Mother Bomber is fine, I don't want more fives to be honest. So Unstable Portal it is, add a random minion to her hand, it costs 3 less. So yeah, basically you can get a re really good legendary or you can get, I don't know, a mad scientist or a wisp. But yeah, we're gonna go with Unstable Portal. Uh, Unstable no Portal number 2, do I want Unstable Portal number 2? No. No. I, I don't want to, because it's fun. I want to, because it's fun, but I should take a 3. I'm not going to take a Cobra. Questing Adventure is actually not bad in this deck, because I do have quite small d things. But I'm going to go with co Cobra. I need another 3, man. I need War 3s. I literally only have a Flame Waker for, Waker for uh, 3. Um, and a uh, Jewel Scarab thing. I'm going to go with it. The fun... Uh, 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 I'm going to go with it. Nope, nope, don't do it. Sludge Belcher number two would be so good. Ravenhold Assassin is actually not not bad. I'm gonna go with Fallen Hero. I have one, two, three, four. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, nine plays three and under, which is actually not bad. But Unstable Portal, I can play a duplicate. You don't really want to play on number three. Unstable Portal is not bad to play on on turn two. But uh, I think Coin Unstable Portal is fine. But I don't know. I'm gonna go with another Fallen Hero. Why not? Oh, it's actually not a bad deck, uh, to be honest. Um, if I could utilize as well, it could go to 7, I think. But what do I know? I'm not a Hearthstone, like, Arena Infinite player. I don't know. I'm just playing it for fun. Because I enjoy it. And, and I actually enjoy, like, commentating over Hearthstone. But yeah, I like Mage a lot. If when I I should re actually get around to playing all three, all of the like classes there are. I've only played like, I think Paladin, Druid, and Mage now. So I'll I'll should get around the other car classes. I'm not a g good player of all the other classes, especially Rogue. But I'll play them anyway. Gina, the so Priest, I actually kind of like Priest. It's actually right, weak, so but I kind of like it. You asked for it. So we're keeping the Fallen Hero, we're keeping the Hot Creeper, we're removing Lord Adrena and Boulder Fist Ogre. So cool. Uh, I'm not a big fan that we got duplicate instantly, but well, oh well. I think I'll coin Fallen Hero. Depends if we play something. Du -du -du -du. I think I'll coin Fallen Hero. Oh wow, we actually got to wait a lot of twos. Finally. A second chance. I love this card. That's like what he says. It's so cool. And it's, it's such a nice voice. Yay! Now my my pirate my thing is all sparkly. Uh, don't I'm not actually gonna ping it. If I ping it, then he can kill it. So I'm gonna play my haunted my haunted keeper and go face. Like if I ping it, then I ha then he can one to it. So I don't want to do that. Now he can't kill it. Right? Yeah, that's right. Next turn, I'll ping it and hit it with my Haunted Creeper. And he's gonna heal himself. Okay. Oh, lol. Fallen Hero number two? Sure. Fallen Hero number two. I think that's fine. I mean, I could have pinged it and then done nothing. But this way, I have still have Fallen Hero. And this has three damage now, which is really cool. Holy Nova is not this turn, it's next turn. If he has it. So, yeah, we'll see. Maybe it's chosen, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. Next turn, I have Heckler. Valence chosen. Oh, convert. What? What? what did, did he convert a fallen hero? 
What? I am so confused. What did he convert? A fallen hero. So, will... What? Oh yeah, definitely has Holy Nova. Like, so, de so, so sure. That he has Holy Nova. Do I want to duplicate? No. I'll play this. Holy Nova doesn't kill it. Yeah. Was a Murloc. I'm pre pre pretty obvious that he has Holy Nova. I mean... He telegraphed it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, the most obvious Holy Nova that I've ever seen. So I'm gonna drop this. I'm actually gonna duplicate here. Two uh, evil hecklers is actually not bad. I'm gonna go duplicate. Uh, I, I You could wait to get really insane value from this card, but it's just gonna be a dead card in my hand. So And I had the mana to use it. So why not? And you actually have to play around it, so if he had a, like a really strong minion that he wanted to play in turn 6, I actually probably ah, stopped it. Oh look, it's shitty, it's, it's shitty, uh, like, shitty evil heckler right there. Look at this, 5-4 for 5, 5-4 for 5, 5-4 for 4, like why? Why is this even a thing? I, unfortunately, I have to fire his breath, like, dragon's breath that, which is so sucky. Cause, I, cause like, I have to, right? I have to. It's unfortunate that I couldn't, like, play any cards, but I'm so far ahead right now, it's insane. <clears throat> because I had a 6-1 six mana, six mana minion to play. Uh, it's not, he knows it's not, uh, like, what? Oh no, that has to die. Finally, a so what does that do? Chance. Nothing. It does nothing for him, right? It won't heal 4. Yeah, so it's basically useless. Mm -hmm. Um. Wait, five plus two. Plus two, four, five. That's nine, ten. Oh, I had lethal if I didn't heal himself. So I'm gonna trade, do some trades here. I could just go face. No, I'm gonna kill this. Do play this. Or let's go do go ham. I'm gonna go ham. I'm just gonna go ham. Don't see the point of trading there. He has to get through my evil heckler, and if my evil heckler dies, I will get a duplicate of it. Thank you for two evil hecklers. And I can actually play them both next turn. I could have played the uh, spare part. I don't know. I mean the the Yeti, but you know. For and heal yourself. Or two drop, three drop. We must cleanse, cleanse the, the sun well. So hit, 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 hit. Heckler, Yeti. Hit Yeti Heckler. I actually kind of like that idea. Hit Heckler. Wait and. Lost Souls Rider. I did this over the Lost over this because it does more damage. Because li literally, it does cause more damage. I'm pushing for lethal here. He couldn't get to my with Heckler last time without like with, without trading his minion. Let's see. Your magic shall not see. Okay. So I have ten. I'm presuming he's gonna kill one of these. So seven, right? Six, five is eleven. He needs to kill another minion. Can he kill another minion? Because I have six and five is eleven. Yeah, yeah. I have ten, twelve damage. So he's dead. Yeah. Well played. What, what, that, that was weird. Okay, so that's our first win. Well, quite an easy win if I have to, if I'm saying what I'm thinking. Oh, it's actually a, a quest of mine to play with Mage, so boom, right there. More, All the more reason to pick Mage. And Gina. we have a Mage! Gina. You asked for it.
Oh, cool. It is on. Oh shit, that's new. She never said that before. Oh, it is on, bitch. So remove that, remove that, keep the druid scarab. Cause I don't have much trees. Oh cool. But I'll probably play the Gilblin. I'm sorry it's jeweled scarab, but I'm gonna but the Gilblin is a better two drop than you. Well, unless she plays nothing. Freaking phone, man. It's like in every episode I've in every episode I've recorded recently, it's like phone, hey, I'm 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 here. Notice me, Senpai! Come on, man. Okay, he's done mulliganing, man. Zombie Chow? Nope. Pyroblast. You're gonna be a dead card, aren't you, man? <clears throat> Hopefully she plays nothing. Nope. She top-decked a uh, Bongard. <clears throat> Gilblin! Le if I played Jules Sky right there, it would have been the dream for this person. Because literally just ping and hit. Ping and hit me in the face. And that would be a 3 3 Vanguard. Hot in here! Um, let's Jewel Scarab. Do I want to? Uh, no, I actually have to Jewel Scarab. There's nothing else I can do. So, Jewel Scarab. See what I get. Ugh. Ugh. I actually don't want any of these. Chris Christ. I guess a Dragon Hawk Rider. It's a minion to play next turn. Ew. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Magma Rager, Dragonhawk Rider, and Vaporize. What more could you need in life? Yeah, geez. Shall we put a kink, kink in their plans? plans. <clears throat> yep, Dragonhawk Rider it is. I, <laughs> I mean, what I should I play a snow jugger on its own? Not particularly. Uh, not the best place to be in. At least it, it challenges the 4-3, and he has, probably has to hit ping if he wants to not get out of this badly. What's he gonna do? Does he have a Frostbolt? That would be horrible if he has a Frostbolt. At least next there's a Pit Fighter coming out. And trade? Yeah, Pit Fighter though, I have. It actually challenges both of these things, so cool. Hello, uh, unstable portal. Do you have ways of dealing with this? Please don't. I'd really like it if you didn't. Don't have a polymorph for a fireball. Come on, B Delta 5000. You can do it. Jesus, what is this hand, man? What is this hand? What is that? Okay. Oh, shit. No! Yes! Okay, cool. He's gonna go face, or he's gonna no, he's gonna play it. Cool. Um. Oh, I could do this combo. Oh, I kind of wanna do it. I'm gonna do it. Believe in the orange Jesus. Ah, oh, okay. At, at least you went, you killed something. Well done. Well done, Goblin Mass Mage. Well done. <clears throat> Next turn, I can probably war golem. May my Thank you, knife juggler, for going face. No, no, ping it. What? Ping this. Why would you ping this and not ping this? Like literally. Oh yeah, because I can trade there anyway. Yeah, but I trade there and then I trade here, then you ping this next turn. Um. So, hit, hit. I I I don't I didn't like what he did there. Let's see. Can you deal with this war golem? Hopefully you can't. Next turn on the table portal, yo. Will we get something cool? Or are we getting something shitty? Frogs on. It's clobbering time. Oh, I can kill it. So hit. 
Wait, first, yeah, no, yeah, since it's that's gonna die anyway, let's unstable portal. Ah, uh, Dragon Hawk Rider. What did I do to deserve that? Then Dragon's Breath. And Haunted and Haunt Creeper, sure why not? We are in a strong position. I have ten. I have twenty-one damage actually, right there. Twenty-one damage. Ten, twenty, and twenty-one damage. So well played. Oh no, nope, I can't kill you. I have another turn to kill you. The question is, do I trade or do I not? Seven and six. He might have a pyro, uh, uh, fucking pyroblast, which you can't play next turn. He might have a fireball. Uh, God. So if I trade here and I do one, and then I do six damage, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna be safe. A lot of people might disagree with what I did, but I would do I still have lethal with the pyroblast. And this is basically really the safest way possible of me not dying. Because if you had like a two fireballs, would have died. Forgotten torch, deal three damage. Shuffle a roaring torch into your deck that deals six damage. Holy shit! Holy shit! That's actually really good. So well played. Well played. Well done, power blast. Cool. Uh, with the new met with the new card, it's actually really hard to get removal. I'm actually really lucky I got a flame strike. I I'm gonna actually end off the part here. If you like this part, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to see more of my videos to come. And the next one, we'll see where we can go with this deck. I think it's actually a really pretty good deck. It has qu quite good minion quality, not bad spells. I do have a flame strike in there, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's actually a really good learning experience for me because I'm learning how to deal with how to play Tomb Spider, Jeweled Scarab, uh, Duplicate, uh, Dra Dragon's Breath, and is there another card I don't usually pick? I think that's basically. Oh yeah, no, no, I do pick on Stable Portal. Yep, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one, you guys. Bye.